Can the Olympic Village's eco-friendly initiative really hinder world-class athletes? That's the question at the heart of a heated debate surrounding the Paris Olympics. Today, we're diving into the controversy sparked by Australia's swimming star Ariane Titmuss and the intense backlash from her head coach. Welcome to AU News! The Paris Olympic Village is in the spotlight for its controversial conditions, and the response from athletes has been anything but silent. Let's break down what's been happening and why it's causing such a stir. Ariane Titmuss, Australia's swimming queen, has pulled no punches in her critique of the Paris Olympic Village. The triple gold medalist labeled the conditions as ridiculous, citing discomfort with the polythene mattresses and cardboard beds. Titmuss expressed frustration after failing to break her world record in the 400-meter freestyle despite securing back-to-back -back goals. In a candid interview, Titmuss revealed that the living conditions in the Olympic Village are far from ideal for high performance. It's definitely not made for high performance, she said, emphasizing how it affects athletes' mental resilience. Her comments quickly drew sharp criticism from Australian swimming's head coach, Rohan Taylor. Taylor reminded the athletes that the Olympics are always challenging. He stressed that every game tests athletes' ability to adapt to various conditions. It's about managing yourself and whatever environments are presented, Taylor asserted. He highlighted that the Australian Olympic Committee has made significant efforts to support the athletes, from private transport to extra food and air conditioning. Despite these efforts, the Olympic Village's wokeness has become a point of contention. The single beds, made by Airwave, feature cardboard frames as part of the sustainability drive. This eco-friendly approach has drawn ire from athletes like Aussie water polo stars Tilly Kearns and Gabby Pong, who complained about the discomfort. Tennis player Daria Seville also voiced her frustrations. She posted on social media about the lack of hotel-like services in the village, revealing that athletes have to procure their own supplies, like toilet paper. Adding fuel to the fire, retired swimmer James Magnuson criticized the eco-friendly stance of the Olympics. He argued that these measures, including the lack of air conditioning and uncomfortable beds, are detrimental to athletes' performance. Magnuson, a multiple-time Olympic medalist, believes the focus on sustainability may be undermining the ability to set new world records. As the games progress, the debate continues. Athletes are grappling with these conditions, and the impact on their performances is being closely watched. That's a wrap for today's video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to AU News. See you next time.